presented by Church Check U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, where did they put the Apply All button? Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I tell you all about Pro Presenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. With Pro Presenter 6, there was a little button that uh, once you made changes to one slide, you could just have it apply to all the slides in that particular song, sermon notes, you know, the document. But uh, you might have noticed that it seems not to be where it was in Pro 6 in Pro 7. So where is it? Well, let's head over to my computer and take a look. Here we are in Pro Presenter 6, and if I were to make changes here, you know, let's say I just uh, wanted to change the font to CMG Sans, for example, which was made specifically for worship. I liked everything else the way that it is, um, and I just want to apply that to every last one of these slides. Well, we've got this little button right here, Apply to All. So I just click that, and it applies it to all. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. The problem is that doesn't exist in uh, Pro 7. Here, let me show you. So here we are in Pro 7. And by the way, that also answers some questions that I get. People ask if Pro 6 and Pro 7 can be on the same machine. Not only did I have them on the same machine, I had them running at the same time. Now, I wouldn't do that on most computers, but I've got a kind of beefy computer for these tutorials. So, I've done just that. So, let's go into Editor, and we go, let's uh, select the text box here, and go to Text, and there's no Apply to All button anywhere. So, if I make any changes, Let's, uh, once again, I'll just change that to CMG Sans, just for, to keep everything the same. Not Comic Sans, no. CMG Sans, there we go. So, I change that. How do I apply that to all? Well, it's not here. It's not under any of these. You might even not even think to look here. But if you go to Editor up here, and then it's still not obvious. You've got to select Text. Then Apply Text Style to All Slides. So it's not hard to do. It's just not exactly in the same spot. I will tell you that in addition to that, there uh, is something else that you can do. So, that would apply it to just the um, current document. But let's say that you're editing a song. So, if we go back here to show, and I go to, um, let's, I don't like the way Amazing Grace is. So, let's say that I've got um, And Can It Be here, and I like that. So, what I can do is once I've got that set up, let me get rid of this. I've got a look that's covering up my face here. Um, once I have this the way that I want to, what I can do is I can right-click, or I talk to someone that for some reason right-click wasn't working in his situation. So uh, control-click on a Mac will work as well as right-click. So go down to Themes, and then scroll down to New Theme from Selection. Click on that. You give it a name. Give it a name that makes perfect sense to you. Theme number two probably isn't it. So give it something uh, descriptive. And then click Save. I've already done that, so I'm not going to show it to you. And then what you can do is you can go to another song that you want to apply that to. Right-click um, and select all of them, right click again, and go to the theme that you want. Um, I believe that's a, in the lower third. I really need to clean this out. It's not that one. But still, 
you apply it and it should apply. One thing that I have noticed, by the way, is that if we click Edit Slide here, for some reason, uh, if you apply a theme with the background image, sometimes it won't uh, get rid of that background image. Here's what I suspect is going on. I need to actually test it to know for sure. But you'll notice that this background image is locked. So I suspect that if we go back and we uh, do that again, sorry, I hadn't anticipated that I was going to do this. Uh, we go back through that again, and uh, I think it was the lower third theme. I think that then, nope didn't go away. So I've got to figure out exactly why sometimes other, in, uh, other items in the theme go away and sometimes they don't. So that's kind of an important thing as well. So if you add a background image in a theme like this one, which is, this is one of the default ones, it won't necessarily erase. So I think that might be a bug, or perhaps it's a feature that is uh, related to how themes are implemented. But it's important for you to know that it's not uh, just the lock. It can um, do that even when it is unlocked and has something other than a text box in the, in the slide. If you like this content, I bet you'd like Church Tech U, my online church tech training community. So head on over to churchtechu.com slash um, ProPresenter Keyboard Shortcuts. And there you can sign up for my ProPresenter 6 and ProPresenter 7 Keyboard Shortcuts Cheat Sheet. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.